Yo, all me I tell them say, if you want on a fruit cake, it tastes better than Miss Donna Nyan bad cake. The recipe is yeah. bad, and we're not you. We're not even cooking it in the oven. Yeah, big bad. chef big 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 vibe so today we're making uh today we're making a jamaican rum cake slash jamaican christmas cake slash crazy chef biggest vibe of last year so today we're recreating the christmas cake and uh we're doing it without putting it in our oven so i'm gonna go over a list of my ingredients and then we'll take it from there so right here I have a cup of sugar right here I have two cups of sift flour and we stroll along right here I got a teaspoon of mixed spice and a half a teaspoon of allspice teaspoon of ground ginger teaspoon of grated fresh nutmeg right here i have a tablespoon of vanilla and a tablespoon of rose water and we're going around right here i got a half a tablespoon of cinnamon Right here, I got a half a tablespoon of salt. Right here, three eggs, just for the vibe. And most importantly, I have a pound of butter room temperature. So, I got my mixer now. So, I'm going to grab my mixer and I'm going to put my butter and my sugar to cream. Then, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. So, Stick around for the end of the video to see how I bake my Christmas cake without a oven. Big, big vibe. Hit that like button if it's your first time here. Red subscribe button. Uh, I thought, I didn't think we go over this. So this is half a cup of Ray and Nephew rum and a half a cup of red labor wine i think we missed this guy so i'm gonna leave a detail link in the of the ingredients in the description so you can get it from there big, big so in my mixer i'm gonna add my sugar so a cup of sugar and I'm going to add my cubes of room temperature butter. So then all I got to do now is close, close my mixer and just hit play. So go slowly at first. So just let that go. And then we go from there. Yes, yeah, so as soon as we cream our butter and our sugar and it's properly creamed, what we do first is we add our eggs and we make sure that our eggs is combined with the rest of the ingredients, you know, the butter and the sugar, then we add all our dry. So we add our nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, uh, mixed spice, we add some salt. So we add all that in there and then we're going to add our liquid, we add our vanilla and we add our rose water. And all you got to do now is just wait for it to vibe. So it comes all together, you add your blended fruit. So I add my blended fruit and I add 
my browning so this is where I like to add my browning and then at the end if it's not dark enough I'll add more browning so right here is where I add my browning and I just I just pretty much let it vibe and by now you should be able to taste the awesome goodness you should be able to taste it like it should taste really good so what I'm gonna do now is shut my mixer off and add my flour and by hand I'm gonna fold it in there because you don't wanna you don't wanna create a mess worst thing you wanna do is create a mess so by hand I'm gonna fold it in there and then I'm gonna give it a small whip because you don't wanna whip it too much either you know you break the batter you wanna keep as much air in your batter as possible so if you want a better vibe on like detail step by step before I actually you know add everything bam 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 I'm gonna leave a link to my other fruitcake recipe in the description also so you can check that out but I'm telling you this cake is a vibe I tested the recipe I tested the vibe and it was delicious the texture was good it came out beautiful so now I'm gonna add a little bit more browning because you know it wasn't dark enough so we add a little more brown as I said so as you put the flour in you'll know if you need some more brown so I'm gonna add see I'm gonna add most of my wine like three three quarters to a half because at the end you're gonna need some of that mixture to you know moisten up your food and that's gonna give it that extra vibe so add some more browning create a vibe and then uh you know we're gonna add it to my baking sheet or my baking pan so to say so that's look at the consistency so i bought this thing it's not gonna work don't buy this i bought this thing because i thought it was a vibe but i ended up i had to take it off and like severely wrap it with plastic wrap because when I put this in my pot it fall off so how I set up my steam bath is I don't put my so I put a colander in my pan to keep my pan from sitting on the base so see that that's how I set up my steam bath so I put my cake on that and then I just cover it and I cook it on medium to low for two hours yeah i cooked it for two hours medium to low so i just cover it leave it let it vibe and uh, as i said the end was beautiful for me it's all about the ending i'm a big story guy so the end was awesome i check you want to check your water like every half hour every every 20 minutes because what happened is the water evaporates and the water spills through the sides of the pan so you gotta add more water as you go along so that's what I had to do I had to really wrap my cake so my that fancy thing I bought didn't work so I wrap the cake like that and uh, all you gotta do when you're done as you'll see in the video is just cut the wrapper off and bingo voila it was delicious it looked good the texture was good it was just beautiful so I didn't think I don't think I told you to like the video if you haven't liked the video as yet hit that like button if it's your first time here uh, if you want to hit the red side subscribe button hit the red subscribe button there's a vibe here you know we try to bring a vibe so hit that red subscribe button uh, hit that like button you want to hit that like button soon as you see how this cake came out you're gonna want to hit that like button that like button is legit look at that tell me that's not a vibe tell me you're like can't believe it really came out like that so as I said stick around for the end of the video and you'll see you'll see that vibe but you pretty much see how good that looks big vibe hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button crazy chef bring in the music